be seated, please. No talking while courts in session. So, you would have to put in that of Commonwealth versus Michelle Connor. All right. Commonwealth uh, is represented today by Ms. Flynn. Good afternoon, Ms. Flynn. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Mary Claire Flynn, and, along with uh, Mr. Mr. Barber. Mr. Barber. Mr. Madeira, Mr. Connor. Yeah, and also uh, Daniel Mox is with us today, oh, right. too. Good afternoon to you, sir. All right. Now, as a preliminary matter, Mr. Cataldo, the court was surprised this morning, uh, I guess about 11.30, of a filing that was made, which was a duplicate of what was uh, filed in the uh, uh, SJC this morning. Um, I took the liberty, sir, of impounding that uh, to determine uh, what the SJC might do with it before it was made public to this court. However, I understand that there has been a ruling from the Supreme Judicial Court. Is that correct, sir? Yes, that's my understanding. All right. So do you wish to be heard on the, on the further impoundment of the documents that were filed this morning? I see no reason why it should be impounded. All right, then um, that will uh, that impoundment order will now cease, and uh, that record will be part of the file. All right. You wish to be hearing, Ms. Flynn. I have read your motion. Yes, Your Honor. Just very briefly, Your Honor. On August third, two thousand and seventeen, this court granted the defendant stay of execution of her sentence. The court was very clear in its allowance of that motion that the stay would only last through the Massachusetts appellate court system. The Commonwealth in its motion has suggested that that procedural history and the procedural history with regards to uh, all that has happened in Ms. Carter's case is now completed. The Commonwealth, as was uh, ordered in Your Honor's uh, ruling of the stay, has filed a motion to revoke the stay. As you just indicated, the Supreme Judicial Court has today denied Ms. Carter's uh, emergency petition for a stay pending a writ of certiorari to the U.S. Supreme Court and as such, the Commonwealth is asking you to allow its motion today and that Ms. Carter begin serving her sentence. Thank you. Uh, Your Honor, we're asking you to deny the Commonwealth's motion. Uh, this case legally is not over. We fully intend to file an appeal with the United States Supreme Court within the next 90 days as required by the Supreme Court rules. There is a split amongst the states. The Supreme Judicial Court of Massachusetts has just ruled, and they have denied our stay and upheld this conviction. But Ms. Carter's direct appellate review of her case is now going to the United States Supreme Court. So we're asking that you deny the Commonwealth's motion. There are legal issues involved, as this court is well aware, when it originally granted the stay after finding Ms. Carter guilty. Those legal issues are still ripe. There's still many of those issues raise federal questions. Those federal questions are ultimately decided by the United States Supreme Court. There's a case, Melker Dinkle, out of uh, Minnesota. There's a case law out of California, Illinois, that differ with the SJC's decision as to the applicability of the First Amendment to the encouragement or advisement of suicide. So for those reasons, Your Honor, and also the state that the Commonwealth, the uh, SJC denied, they did it without giving any reason. So we're asking you deny the Commonwealth's motion today and let us have the additional time to file the uh, petition for writ of certiorari before the United States Supreme Court. Thank you very much, Mr. Cadalo. While you are there at the podium, sir, are there any other issues you wish to bring to the court's attention today? Not today. All right. Ms. Blaine, are there any other issues that the Commonwealth would wish to bring to the court's attention today. No, thank you, Your Honor. All right, fine. Thank you very much. All right, as I indicated, I have reviewed the Commonwealth's motion <clears throat> and have read in detail once again the order that I issued on August 3rd, 2017, relative to the stay and the underlying rules, especially Rule 31 of the Massachusetts Rule of the Criminal Procedure with respect to that. Uh, having done all of that and considered the arguments just presented to the court, the court now allows the Commonwealth's motion to revoke the stay of sentence. Ms. Carter will now be taken into custody. This matter is adjourned. Thank you very much. All rise. <laughs>